Neil, tell me, uh, how long has H2O been going? H2O's been going almost 18 months now. Um, we uh, decided there was a gap in the market and uh, felt that it was a gap that definitely needed filling. And um, we, yeah, last April we started and haven't looked back since. Yeah. How's the audience reaction been? Audience reaction has been fantastic. Uh, anything we've wanted to do, the audience has been on board. We, we, we get a lot of people contacting us about yeah. things that are happening now, uh, which is great. We very rarely have to go out looking for things. Uh, obviously, there's always room for more, um, but the, the way the audience has, uh, has taken us on board has just been great. But, but then, of course, we're talking to we, we're talking to an audience in their language. Yeah. But you've got a powerboat here and a sailor. How do you reconcile these two? <laughs> I think what, what people don't realise is we'd never met before we did the first <laughs> programme. <laughs> we hadn't. We hadn't. They, they rang me up with this concept and said, would you like to... And I'd been a, I'd been a Julian's person, hadn't yeah. I? I would just been one of, you know, being interviewed. And they Cop on a stick, said, as we call it. Oh. <laughs> and they, how rude. And they said to me, would you like to come and do a radio show? And they said, now this sounds terrible. They said, um, your presenter is going to be Sir Robin Notch Johnson and you're going to be his co-presenter. And do you know what I said? Who's Sir Robin Notch Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> And who is Sir Robin Notch Johnson? Have you found don't, out yet? Don't know. Some old man who reckons he served around the world once yet. Um, but no. Once or twice, yeah. And we'd never met before the first show. We literally had, had coffee together an hour before the first show. So, uh, by the way, have you two actually met? <laughs> <laughs> but did you know Shelley before? No, 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 I didn't know. I mean, I'd heard her name. Because yeah. uh, I'm interested in anything to do with boats, really. But I'd heard her name, but I had no idea who she was, what she looked like, or anything. So the feeling was mutual then. <laughs> totally. Totally and what about the sort of reputed antagonism between powerboaters and sailors? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it just comes naturally to both of us. Um, what, antagonism? Yes. Um, it just comes... She's very aggressive. Oh, no, <laughs> tell me about it. I've interviewed her before. <laughs> but I was, I was worried that at first that I actually thought that, you know, Neil, our producer, would say, no, 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 guys, you, you know, this is, a, this is a friendly family show. You can't, you can't sort of slag each other off. But he, you've never told us off yet. No. Nope. <laughs> no need to yet. I think what I think what works is Shelley's a powerboat racer who'd never done any sailing or radio professionally. Yeah. Robin is a sailor who'd never done powerboat racing or radio professionally. I'm a radio professional and hadn't done sailing or powerboat <laughs> racing. So in actual fact, we all bring something. We all bring our own and somehow discipline it works. in, and we're all learning each other. So it's quite a steep learning curve for all yeah. of us. But it really works, doesn't it? So we're we going to get you in a sailing boat. I've done it. I've done it. I. This means, Steve, I'm winning. <laughs> yes, he, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> he is winning on the conversion table. I um, I went in on a clipper last year at Cowes on one of Sir Robin's clippers and had a fantastic day. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to rephrase that. I was actually bored after the first hour. And they said to me, I've got another four hours to go. But today was amazing because Shirley Robertson took me sailing on the iShares Cup. And that was 15 minutes of absolute pandemonium out there mm -hmm. and and it was fantastic they're, quite, adrenaline. Adrenaline. they're yeah. quite special aren't they our team was on on the, on the extremes today crazy well i actually um one of your um camera ladies yeah. zara got on to the boat i was on and she got on after me and i think she saw me getting off going <gasps> was, she, was she there when you had the collision no no or, or did we actually actually <laughs> i've got a feeling zara was on the boat that we collided with because she <laughs> I, I got off the french boat and she got on to the french boat which was group armor and yes i actually think i had a collision <laughs> with, you, with one of your film crew on board i hope she got it <laughs> so robin are we going to see you in a pair boat uh let's talk of it I mean, I spent the first 14 years of my life on very large, mm. underpowered steel power boats, <laughs> think about it. Um, so, but, you know, the f I did the, uh, some years ago, I did the RNLI 1921 course, and I have to say that was brilliant, I did the hearing cars. I learned so much about handling a rib there, it was just a phenomenally good course. I mean, you start as absolutely nothing, and at the end of it, you feel confident doing anything. And I must say, I did quite enjoy it. So, there's just a possible. Ability, I suppose Shelley might get me out one day in a powerboat. At the speed she travels at, that could be quite something, couldn't that? I suppose you have to go that slow, yeah. You just watch this space. <laughs> okay, we will. Cows <laughs> TV, you'll be the first to know. We'll be there. So what for, What are the future for H2O? 
Well, we're on air until the end of September, the second week of the, well, the middle of September, the uh, second week of the Southampton Boat Show is our yep. last programme for this season. And we'll see you there too then. <laughs> yeah, we'll look forward to that. And um, fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be back, back again next April. And also what we're hoping for is that our podcast will continue uh, through the year, but we just need to uh, cut through a little bit of red tape. Uh, but the, the, the brand will live on. Brilliant. We hope so, because we really enjoy it. Thank you all. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.